again. Uh, welcome back. My apologies for once again for lack of videos, but I am uh, concentrating on building up the studio and building my live room. I'll put links at the end to my Instagram if you want to catch up on how the, the studio's coming along, then you can do it there. I'm not going to bore you with it here. But let's get to the point of this video. And what I wanted to talk to you now is uh, I want to show you a couple of quick shortcuts that I use when editing audio just to speed up my process with for example this that I've got in front of me it's uh, my own bands we rehearsed the other night there and um, I'm just chopping out all the crap in between the songs and getting to so that we just got the songs and then I'm going to export them as regions as you will see so it's just a couple of short circuits that I use um, or shortcuts sorry not short circuits uh, it's just a short, a couple of shortcuts that I use uh, to achieve this quickly and I'll show you how I do this. The first one, I will open up my actions. Right, my first one is remove selected area of items. Okay, So what I'm going to do is highlight the crap in between the two songs. I'm going to hit W, which is what I've used as my shortcut for this, and it will remove it. But more to that, what I'm going to do is I have here my ripple edit engaged with all all, all the tracks. So whatever I do will affect everything and, you know, whatever I cut out and everything else will jump back to the spot where I've cut it out. So what I've done is I've, I've, we do a combination of covers and our own stuff. So I've edited this up until our own songs because I didn't want to get hit with uh, shit with YouTube for playing other people's songs. So this is our own tracks. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you the end of the song, I'm going to find the end of the song, the beginning of the next song, and then I'll show you how I cut it out. So if we just play this. Okay, so that's the end of the song there. So if we just do a time selection, so I don't know what all this is, this could be chatter, it could be countings, I don't know. So if we have a quick listen. So that's the start of the song there. Okay, so we just pull this up to the start of the song. So now we have a time selection there, as you can see. So we've got a time selection. I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to hit W. And as you can see, it got rid of that and it's moved everything up. So now if we listen to the end of the, the last track. So it goes directly into the next one. Okay, so we can do the same for the next track if we just move up along. Right. So that's the end of that track. So if we pull out a section and we try and find where the next one actually begins. <laughs> okay, so it's somewhere in there. I don't want to play too much because it's not our songs. Uh, so there. That's where we start the counting. So let's just select them again. Let's hit W and watch. This will disappear and all of this will move up. But we will also have a split in the items there, which will become important for the next set. So now what I want to do is I want to render this out. You know, I've gone through the whole rehearsal and I want to render this out and send it to the lads as MP3 so they can have a listen to all the songs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select everything. And uh, uh, let's open up the actions again. I'll show you the next action I use. Right, so I've got this set up as Alt-R. And what it is, is it creates regions from selected items and name by active item, or by active take. Now this becomes useful when I have actually got all these uh, items named which I, I could go through and do now and name them with the name of the song but I don't need to do that so let's um we'll close that 
So now we know it's Alt R. So that's okay. So we have all of our selected items here. So if we just select and we hit our Alt R. So that now creates our regions. Now we could rename all these so that it, to, to each track, but as we've got a set list, we know what the names of the tracks are as compared to the number. So what we'll do is we'll go into the render um, and I will select uh, project regions. As you can see, we've got 16 regions representing the 16 songs. Um, we'll select where I want to send them to and that will be to our rehearsal one audio. Leave it on, uh, actually, if we then select, if I want to name each region number, we can select here on the wildcards, uh, where are we, region number. And there we have it. Now I want to send these as uh, MP3s. So if I select MP3, I always like th three, well, it's a lot of songs. So let's do it as 192. Okay, and then I can render these 16 files and that will render each of these regions out to um, MP3 files that I can then send on to the rest of the band. And it's as simple as that. So I hope that was helpful, guys. Just some easy shortcuts, easy short keys that you can use just to edit material quickly and easily and send it out to your band. Cheers now.